everyone, this is Norma with All My Crafts, and today I have a crochet tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to make this mermaid tail that will fit an American Girl doll or any 18-inch doll. And this is a very easy and simple pattern. This is the front, and let me show you what the fin looks like. Okay, let me turn it around so you can see the back. The back is open, so the feet will stick out and your doll will be able to stand. And this is the waist, and it has elastic in the waist, so this won't fall off your doll. Okay. And we're also going to make this cute halter top to match. And we're also going to make this crown. So let me get my materials and show you what we need to make this. So these are the materials that we will be needing. We need a crochet hook size H. We need a crochet hook size I. And we're going to need some kind of elastic band. This band here is from the Dollar Tree and it's for thick hair and it's an extra long one. So this whole thing around measures about 10 inches. So that's what you need. Um, if you can't find something that long, you can always just use elastic. This is a very thin elastic and all I did was sew the ends together and measured it and it's about 10 inches and, in, you know, around. We also need a stitch marker and I'm going to use a stitch counter so I can keep track of my rows because each row has a specific number of stitches so this will just help me keep track of what row I'm at and I am using Red Heart Super Saver Ombre and the color is called Sea Coral Sea Coral and it is a size 4 medium weight yarn so let me get my table together and I'll be back to show you how to make it. Okay, to begin, we are gonna use the crochet hook size H and we need a chain of 15, which I've already done here. So we're gonna start row number one. So I'm gonna put my stitch marker on row number one. And I do have some notes right here. I'm just gonna show you real quick on how many stitches in each row and that's why I wanna use this so I don't lose count. And I will put these notes um, in the description and it's just gonna basically tell you in row one what stitches you're going to do and how many are at the end of that row just to maybe be a little bit helpful it's not going to give you a full description on how to make it but it'll give you the description of the the mermaid tail the thin part of um of this so that um you have it you know you have it there for you to go back and reference okay so to start off with we're going to start in the second chain from the hook we're going to skip the first one go to the second chain and we're only going in this top loop only okay and we're going to start off with 10 half double crochets so this is my first one here and i'm going to put my stitch marker here just so that i can note or see where the first stitch was made okay we have one and we need a total of 10. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so now in the next four stitches, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, so round one is done, and in round one, you should have a total of 14 stitches. Okay, so we're going to start round number two. And I'm going to do my chain one. I'm going to turn my work over. And we're going to start off with four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to do seven half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now we have three stitches left unworked. And this last stitch where the stitch marker is at is going to be left unworked. So we're going to work in these two stitches now. And what we're going to do is a half double 
two together. So what that means is we're going to yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and we have three on our hook. Then we're going to go directly into the second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and we have four on our hook. Going to yarn over, and then we're going to pull through all four. And round two is completed. In round two, we should have 12 stitches. Okay, so now we're going to start round number three. So now I'm going to do my chain one. I'm going to turn my work over. In round three, we're going to do in these two stitches a half double crochet two together. So we're going to yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now we have three. Insert into the second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now we have four. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. Okay, so I'm going to move my stitch marker up now to this first stitch right here. Okay, and in round three, we're going to do six half double crochets now. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to work four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So we have round three completed. In round three, we should have 11 stitches. Okay. And now we're going to start round number four. So I'm going to do my chain one. I'm going to turn my work over. And we're going to start off at this end with four single crochets. One two, three, and four. Then we're going to do five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now we have two stitches left. We have this one and this one where the stitch marker is. And that's why it's important to use it because this stitch can be lost and um, if you're not using it, you may not know where that stitch is at. So, okay, in these two stitches, we're gonna do a half double crochet two together again. Okay, now we have all four, yarn over and pull through. Okay, so now we're done with row number four and we should have a total of 10 stitches. Okay, so now we're gonna start row number five. And in row number five, we're gonna do a chain one, turn our work over, oh, if I can do that, okay. Turn our work, and in the first two stitches, again, we're gonna do the half double crochet two together. So, yarned over, insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, we got three. Go into the second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, we have four. Yarn over and pull through all four. Okay, so now I'm gonna move this stitch marker up right here. Okay, so now in round number five, we're gonna do four half double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and that's what it's looking like. And this is the end of row five, and we should have nine stitches. Okay, so now I'm going to start row number six. And in row number six, we're going to do a chain one, turn our work over, and we're going to start with four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to do three half double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay. Now, in these next two stitches, we're going to do a half double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, go into the second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, I got four, yarn over and pull through all four. 
Okay, so we're done with round number six and we should have a total of eight stitches. So now I'm gonna start row number seven. And row number seven, this is actually the midpoint right here with row number seven. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a chain one and in row number seven, all we're gonna do is do a single crochet all the way to the end. So there should be a total of eight stitches here. So we're gonna do eight single crochets here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so that's the first part of the mermaid fin right here done, and that's row number eight. Okay, so now we're going to start row, I'm sorry, that was the end of row seven. Okay, so this was the end of row seven. Now we're going to start row number eight. We had eight stitches and we are starting row number eight now. So in row number eight, I'm going to chain one and we're going to start with four single crochets. Okay. Then we're going to do three half double crochets. One, two, and three. And I forgot to move my stitch marker up. Okay, so the last stitch was right here. Okay, so oh, let me put it in just so that I do it consistently here. I'll take it out in a minute, but in that last stitch, we are going to do two half double crochets into the same stitch. So we're doing one, two into that same stitch. And we're done with row number eight and we should have a total of nine stitches. So now we're gonna start row number nine. And in row number nine, we're gonna chain one, turn our work, and in this very first stitch, we're gonna do two half double crochets into the same stitch. Then we're gonna work four half double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and we're done with row number nine, and we should have 10 stitches. Okay, so now we're going to start row number 10. And in row 10, we're going to chain one, turn our work over, and we're going to start with four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to work five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And I keep forgetting to move this stitch marker up. <laughs> so I know where my st stitch is. That's the stitch right here. If you can see it, it's right there. Okay. So now in this last stitch, I'm going to do two half double crochets in the same stitch, one and two. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. And we are done with row number 10 and we should have 11 stitches. Okay, now we're gonna start row number 11. And in row 11, we're gonna do a chain one, turn our work and we're gonna do two half double crochets in the same stitch one and two and let me move my stitch marker up before i forget here we go okay and in row 11 we are going to work six half double crochets one two three four 
five and six. And then we're gonna work four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. And that was row 11. We should have a total of 12 stitches. So now we're gonna start row number 12. In row 12, we're gonna do a chain one, turn our work, and we're gonna start with four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna do seven half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then is in this very last stitch, we're gonna do two half double crochets in the same stitch. Okay, so we got one and two. Okay, so now we are done with row number 11, um, 12 and we should have 13 stitches. So now we're gonna work row number 13, which is the last row for this fin part. So I'm gonna chain one, turn my work over, and in that very first stitch, I'm gonna do two half double crochets into the same stitch. Now we don't need the stitch marker anymore at this point, but we will need it later. So, okay, so row 13, we did the two in two, two half double crochets in the same stitch, and now we're gonna work eight half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we're gonna work four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so we're done with this fin part. We still have to do a little bit more work here, but this is what it's looking like, and that's the end of row 13, and we should have a total of 14 stitches. So we started with 14 and ended with 14, okay? So now that we're done with row 13, what we're gonna do is we're gonna crochet single crochets along the side here, and we're gonna go along this edge, along this edge, and then along this edge. And all we're gonna do is single crochets. There is no specific amount that I, I do. Now obviously we know we ended with 14 here, so we'll have 14 on this side and 14 on this side. But over here, you just insert into wherever you think you need a single crochet. And then when we get to this corner, we're gonna do three single crochets so that it gives it a nice little curve here. And then when we get to this corner, we're gonna do three single crochets as well. So to start off with, we're going to do a chain one, turn our work over, and then we're gonna start just doing single crochets along this edge all the way down. It's very easy, very simple. And this part was the hardest part, and it's really not any, I don't think it was that difficult. This fin it was very easy and simple. Um, and then after this, it's going to get even easier. So, okay, so here we are at the corner. So right here, I'm going to do three single crochets into the same stitch, two and three. Okay, so that's just giving it a nice little curve right there. Now, wherever you think you need a stitch along this side, just go ahead and put a single crochet. So it's totally up to you. Again, there's no specific numbers that, you know, each one is. It's whatever you think, however you think it looks. As long as you think it looks nice right here, that edge, as long as it looks nice and trim, then it's good enough. Okay, and I'm going to do one more right here. And then when we get to the middle part, you can kind of tell along right here, these are all the same stitches. This is the row of single crochets, the eight single crochets we did. So in this spot right there, 
all I'm going to do is a slip stitch right here. Okay. And as you can see, this looks nice and finished right there. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing with the other side, and I'll meet you back at this end when we're done. So here we are. We're all done with our edging. As you can see, it looks nice and finished. Okay, if you fold this in half, you'll see that they both match up. Okay, now what I'm going to do, and you don't necessarily have to, but I, I'm just going to do it because I want my pin to be just a little bit bigger. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do another row of single crochets and go all along the edge again. And when I get to these corners where we did the three single crochets into the same stitch, I'm going to put two. So here I'm going to put two, here I'm going to put two, and here I'm going to put two. So again, I'm just going to do single crochets all the way around this end here just so that my fin can be a little bit bigger and um, you know it's up to you if you want to do that second one but I think it looks nice with the second one so again I'm just gonna do single crochets I don't know if I said half double crochets earlier but sorry I meant single crochets so I'm just gonna continue to do that and I will meet you here when I'm done doing the second row of single crochets so here I have completed the second row of single crochets and went all the way around to the other end here. And now what we're going to do is at this point here, we're going to do a chain of 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, and 18. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and on the other side, we're going to slip stitch into that last stitch right here. Okay. On this end here. So all we're going to do is slip stitch to connect the chains to this other side here. Okay. Now, if you only did the one row of single crochets, then I would probably do um, 16 stitches. It's all up to you. It really doesn't matter as long as the feet fit through here. And this is going to be a nice, you know, it'll be a fitted look um, on the doll. But as long as the feet fit through, you can do as many stitches. If you want this to be wider, you can definitely do that. It's all up to you. There's really no specific number. I just do, I just did 18 because I think, you know, it's going to be perfect just like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start and it's just going to repeat. It's going to be half double crochets all the way around. And I know this is getting in the way. I need to sew that in. Okay, so this is, let me push this forward. So this is the chains that we created right here, okay? And this is the tail. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with half double crochets and all we're gonna do from this point on is do half double crochets in the rounds. So what that means is we're gonna continuously go around and do half double crochets. We're not going to end a row with the slip sh stitch at all. We're just going to keep going when we get to the next row and do a half double crochet. So to start with, we're going to obviously chain one and I'm, this kind of wants to go inwards. As you can see, that's the back stitches and this is the front. So I just kind of take this and kind of pull it forward. Okay. And I'm just going to go again into that top loop and do my half double crochet. So that's my first one here. And I'm gonna put my stitch marker here because in every row, I'm just gonna move it up so I know where I started. So I'm just putting the stitch marker. Okay, and then all we're gonna do is half double crochets in each of these chains, just one. Okay. So I'm going to continue to do this and I will meet you here um, when we get to the end of the chain so I can explain what else we're going to do. So I've completed the 18 half double crochets here in the chain that we did. 
okay? Now we're gonna continue to do half double crochets along this edge right here. So again, it's just continuing to do half double crochets. And again, there is no specific amount of stitches here. And you know, it doesn't matter how many stitches you put in. And all you're gonna do is just find a spot where you wanna do a half double crochet. You know, there are some open stitches like this. You can see, you can just put one inside of there. And again, it's just half double crochets wherever you think you need one. So you don't have to keep track of how many stitches. That's why this, this is just really easy. It was just this part that you needed to know how many stitches, but here it's just repetitive. It's just half double crochets all the way around and you're just gonna keep doing that. And these are just easy, simple, simple stitches. So, you know, any beginner can, you know, do this as long as you know how to do, you know, the basic stitches. Okay, so we're getting here. So I'm gonna do one here and then I'm gonna do one right here. Okay, so now we're done with this row. This is where we started. Now I'm gonna count how many stitches I have here just to let you guys know. Again, there's no specific amount, but I'm gonna count my stitches and I'll be right back. So on mine, I have 36 stitches. Now again, you can end up with a little bit more, you could end up with a little bit less, and it really doesn't matter. As long as the feet fit through here, it's not gonna be a problem. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is to start the next row. As you can see, this is where we did the first half double crochet where this stitch marker is at. So all I'm gonna do is go into that stitch right there. Okay, I'm not gonna do a slip stitch. I'm just gonna continuously do my half double crochet. So that's my first half double crochet for the next row. So all I'm gonna do is move this stitch marker up here. And as we do, do this going in the rounds, this stitch marker is gonna move over and over and over and over and over and over, okay? So um, don't worry if that happens because that's what's going to happen. So now we're gonna again begin the next row and just gonna continuously do half double crochets all around. So at this point, there's no counting. There's no needing to know any specific number of stitches. It's just repetitive. So I'm just gonna finish this row here. And then um, when we get to row 15, it changes just slightly, nothing difficult. So um, I just wanna finish this row two and then um, I will meet you at row 15. But let me just continue here so I can show you again when we change to row number three and we're just gonna move the stitch marker up. And that's it. Now I do have another one that I want to show you guys where it has two fins. So there's a fin here and then there's a fin back here. But I figured I do this one right now because it's the simplest one. The other one, it's not that difficult. It's basically doing it twice, this part of the fin, to get both the front and the back. But I figured I'd just show you guys how to do this first one, the front one, and then I can show you another time to do both. So again, I'm just doing half double crochets all around. And we're getting here to the end of this row. And we have row two. Okay. So this is the last stitch right here. So as you can see, we have two rows. We got one, two here, and then one, two here. So then this is gonna start the next row. So I'm gonna go into that stitch and continuously do my half double crochet. And now I'm gonna move this stitch marker up to this right here. And then begin again doing half double crochets all the way around. So that's all we're gonna do. Again, the feet will be here and then this is how it's going to show in the front. And I'm gonna continue to do this and I will meet you here at the end of row number 15. 
So here we are at the end of row 15. So the way that you count this is I'm turning it over and I'm going to start from here. And I'm going to count up and we should have 15 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so now we're going to start with row number 16. Okay, so row number 16, we're going to start crocheting with the eye hook okay so this is our first stitch of every row when we you know where we have the stitch marker so now in this stitch right here this first stitch we're going to do two half double crochets into the same stitch okay i'm going to move this stitch marker up okay so we have one two right here in this one and then we're going to crochet five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do our increase. So we're going to do two half double crochets in each stitch. Then we're going to again do five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna do our increase. One, two. So we're gonna do that all the way around, okay? And I'll meet you when we get again to this last stitch. Here we are at the end of the row and row number 16 is the increase row. Now, if you see here, I have the two double crochets and then I have five stitches. Now, depending on how many stitches you end up with, um, you may not have the same as me. So to increase, you know, you just do as many as you think you need in your project. If you want to do it every four or if you want to do it every six, that's totally up to you. And when you get to the end here, you may end up with two stitches and um, that's okay. You know, I had the five right here because I had an even number, but um, it doesn't matter how many increases you do when you're doing this. Just do a little bit increase so that as you know, you're continuing to go up, it gets a little bit wider, okay? Because it's gonna, you know, we need it to be a little bit wider as we go up. So this is what row number 16 looks like. And we're gonna now continue to do half double crochets again with the eye hook. And what we're gonna do now is just continuously do the same thing, just half double crochets all the way around until you get no more increasing. I only did the increase in the one row in row 16. And um, moving forward, we're just gonna continue to do the half double crochets all the way around. And I'm gonna move this stitch marker up here. And I'll meet you here. We're going to go to row number 20. Okay. So I'll meet you back here at row number 20. And again, it's just half double crochets all the way around again. Okay. So I'll see you soon. We're at the end of row 20 right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out my stitch marker. And to be honest, you don't, you know, I use it, but if you don't want to, you don't really need to use it, but I like to use it. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna finish this row right up to this edge here with half double crochets. So um, we can end the row at the, at the corner. So I'm just gonna continue to do the half double crochets here on this end, just up to that corner part. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna add the elastic to the waist. So again, I'm just gonna go all the way to the corner end. Okay. Just half double crochets. And we're almost there. Okay. Let me just see where we're at here. Okay. I think we're good. I'm going to take that one out because I want it just right here to that very, very corner right here. Okay. 
So now we're going to add the elastic band. Okay, so I'm going to kind of turn my work this way, sideways. And I'm just going to put this right here. And I'm going to take this thread and I'm going to put it over the band. Okay. And in the next stitch right here, I'm just going to do a slip stitch so that we can um, connect the elastic to the yarn. Okay, so all I'm doing is a slip stitch right here. Okay, now we're going to connect these pieces. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to, and I don't know what, if there's a name to this stitch or not, it's just something that I came up with. I don't, I don't know if there's a stitch, but I'm going to do kind of like two single crochets between the two stitches. So, okay, we got our slip stitch here. So now we're going to go into this first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. And we're going to go into the second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. And then we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through all three. Okay. So that's what it looks like in the back. Okay. Now to do the next one, we're going to go into this same one here. Okay. Where we have this one, we're going to go into that same one, yarn over, pull up a loop. Then we're going to go into the next one, yarn over, pull up a loop. Okay, and then go through all three and see it creates kind of like a double um, single crochet kind of so now I'm going to do the same thing go into this stitch right here pull up a loop then go into the next stitch and over pull up a loop and then go through all three so let's try that again I'm gonna go into this same stitch that we ended and then into the next stitch and then pull through all three and see what it's doing it's creating this nice little double edged single crochet there so we're going to go into this last stitch here and then this one right here and, and then pull through so that's what we're doing this one then this one one here and one here and I'm going to do this all the way around and I'll meet you back here in the front I wanted to come back and show you what it's looking like now this is what it looks like in the inside and then it's looking like this so all you're going to do is kind of push these stitches stitches forward and just continue to do this same stitch okay just like that okay so this is what it's looking like on the inside right now and i just kind of push these together so that i have more room here for the you know for the band so again i'll meet you at the very beginning where we started so we're close here to the end so i wanted to show you how i'm going to do it so i go into this one again then go into this one and then pull through all three and again, we're going to go into this one and then into this one is the last one right here. And then all I'm going to do is into this very first stitch, I'm going to do a slip stitch. Okay. I'm going to yarn over and give this a tug and then I'm going to cut it off and then weave in my ends. Okay. And... This is what it looks like. And as you can see here, let me show you. It created a nice little edge right here, okay, around the waist. So you're not able to see any of the last the elastic. Because if you were to do just one single crochet across, which you can definitely do, um, you'll see some of that elastic. But with this, when you stretch it open, you don't see anything. So that's why I, I like the way that that looks right there so let me just show you that's what it looks like now this part right here what you can do because it looks like it wants to curl up what I did on mine is I took a piece of like cotton cloth or something and I put it over then I took my iron and just lightly you know went over it at a low heat to flatten this out so it doesn't keep curling up 
So you can definitely do that. But that's what it looks like. I'm going to show you this way. Okay. And that's the tail. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing another video to show you how to do the halter top and the crown. Um, please let me know what you think of this. And I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers for reaching a thousand subscribers. And um, thank you for all your comments and kind words that I have gotten, you know, on, on the tutorials. I do plan on doing more. It's just very difficult for me to get these tutorials in. You know, my personal life is very hectic and it's hard for me to do these videos. I don't have a space or spot um, to do them. I don't have a craft room. I don't have um, anything. I do these in my living room and there's all kinds of noises and all kinds of things in the background going on. And I don't know if maybe you heard my dog probably snoring in part of the video. He's in the living he room here with me and sometimes he starts snoring and there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> So anyways, I hope, um, you know, you guys enjoyed this video and again, please comment, like, and subscribe and look for my other videos to match this. Thank you. So here we are at the end of row 15. So the way that you count this is I'm turning it over and I'm going to start from here and I'm going to count up and we should have 15 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay. So now we're going to start with row number 16. Okay. So row number 16, we're going to, we are at the end of the row and row number 16 is the increase row. Now, if you see here, I have the two double crochets and then I have five stitches. Now, depending on how many stitches you end up with, um, you may not have the same as me. So to increase, you know, you just do as many as you think you need in your project. If you want to do it every four or if you want to do it every six, that's totally up to you. And when you get to the end here, you may end up with two stitches and um, that's okay. You know, I had the five right here because I had an even number, but um, it doesn't matter how many increases you do when you're doing this. Just do a little bit increase so that as you know, you're continuing to go up, it gets a little bit wider, okay? Because it's gonna, you know, we need it to be a little bit wider as we go up. So this is what row number 16 looks like. And we're gonna now continue to do half double crochets again with the eye hook. And what we're gonna do now is just Continuously do the same thing, just half double crochets all the way around until you get no more increasing. I only did the increase in the one row in row 16. And um, moving forward, we're just going to continue to do the half double crochets all the way around. And I'm going to move this stitch marker up here. And... I'll meet you here. We're going to go to row number 20. Okay. So I'll meet you back here at row number 20. And again, it's just half double crochets all the way around again. Okay. So I'll see you soon. We're at the end of row 20 right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out my stitch marker. And to be honest, you don't, you know, I use it, but if you don't want to, you don't really need to use it, but I like to use it. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to finish this row right up to this edge here with half double crochets. So um, we can end the row at the, at the corner. So I'm just going to continue to do the half double crochets here on this end, just up to that corner part. And then once we're done with that, we're going to add the elastic to the waist. So again, I'm just going to go all the way to the corner end. Okay. Just half double crochets. And we're almost there. Okay. Let me just see where we're at here. Okay. I think we're good. I'm going to take that one out because I want it just right here to that very, very corner right here. Okay. 
So now we're going to add the elastic band. Okay, so I'm going to kind of turn my work this way, sideways. And I'm just going to put this right here. And I'm going to take this thread and I'm going to put it over the band. Okay. And in the next stitch right here, I'm just going to do a slip stitch so that we can um, connect the elastic to the yarn. Okay, so all I'm doing is a slip stitch right here. Okay, now we're going to connect these pieces. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to, and I don't know what, if there's a name to this stitch or not. It's just something that I came up with. I don't, I don't know if there's a stitch, but I'm going to do kind of like two single crochets between the two stitches. So, okay, we got our slip stitch here. So now we're going to go into this first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. And we're going to go into the second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through all three. Okay, so that's what it looks like in the back. Okay, now to do the next one, we're going to go into this same one here. Okay, where we have this one, we're going to go into that same one, yarn over, pull up a loop, then we're going to go into the next one, yarn over, pull up a loop. Okay, and then go through all three and see it creates kind of like a double um, single crochet kind of so now I'm going to do the same thing go into this stitch right here pull up a loop then go into the next stitch and over pull up a loop and then go through all three so let's try that again I'm gonna go into this same stitch that we ended and then into the next stitch and then pull through all three and see what it's doing it's creating this nice little double edged single crochet there so we're going to go into this last stitch here and then this one right here and then pull through so that's what we're doing this one then this one one here and one here and I'm going to do this all the way around and I'll meet you back here in the front I wanted to come back and show you what it's looking like now this is what it looks like in the inside and then it's looking like this so all you're going to do is kind of push these stitches stitches forward and just continue to do this same stitch okay just like that okay so this is what it's looking like on the inside right now and i just kind of push these together so that i have more room here for the you know for the band so again i'll meet you at the very beginning where we started so we're close here to the end so i wanted to show you how i'm going to do it so i go into this one again and go into this one and then pull through all three and again, we're going to go into this one and then into this one is the last one right here. And then all I'm going to do is into this very first stitch, I'm going to do a slip stitch. Okay. I'm going to yarn over and give this a tug and then I'm going to cut it off and then weave in my ends. Okay. And... This is what it looks like and as you can see here let me show you it created a nice little edge right here okay around the waist so you're not able to see any of the last the elastic because if you were to do just one single crochet across which you can definitely do um, you'll see some of that elastic but with this when you stretch it open you don't see anything so that's why I, I like the way that that looks right there so let me just show you that's what it looks like now this part right here what you can do because it looks like it wants to curl up what I did on mine is I took a piece of like cotton cloth or something and I put it over then I took my iron and just lightly you know went over it at a low heat to flatten this out so it doesn't keep curling up 
So you can definitely do that. But that's what it looks like. I'm going to show you this way. Okay. And that's the tail. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing another video to show you how to do the halter top and the crown. Um, please let me know what you think of this. And I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers for reaching a thousand subscribers. And um, thank you for all your comments and kind words that I have gotten, you know, on, on the tutorials. I do plan on doing more. It's just very difficult for me to get these tutorials in. You know, my personal life is very hectic and it's hard for me to do these videos. I don't have a space or spot um, to do them. I don't have a craft room. I don't have um, anything. I do these in my living room and there's all kinds of noises and all kinds of things in the background going on. And I don't know if maybe you heard my dog probably snoring in part of the video. He's in the living he room here with me and sometimes he starts snoring and there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> So anyways, I hope, um, you know, you guys enjoyed this video and again, please comment, like, and subscribe and look for my other videos to match this. Thank you.